hands open. Let's receive this morning the prophetic declarations that the Lord has for us. I read from Amos chapter 9 and verse 13 to 14. It says, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when the reaper will be overtaken by the plowman and the planter by the one treading grapes. This morning, I declare over you an overtaking anointing in the name of Jesus. I declare that where you were stagnant, you are about to move in the name of Jesus. Where there was frustration and slowness and stillness, overtaking is happening in the mighty name of Jesus. The scripture says, new wine will drip from the mountains and flow from all the hills. In other versions, it says, blessing upon blessing will come upon you. This morning, I declare the blessing of the Lord is coming upon you. I declare blessings all around you in every area of your life. Open up your hands this morning and receive showers of blessing in the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying new wine will drip. The Lord is saying the old has gone and the new is manifesting in Jesus' mighty name. If you receive it, say amen. In verse 14, it says, I will, this is the word of the Lord. He says, I will restore the captivity of my people, Israel. This morning, I am here to declare unto you according to the word of the Lord. Any area in your life where you are being held captive, whether it is in your health, whether it is in your mind, whether it is in your emotions, the Lord is saying that he is restoring the captivity of his people. This morning, receive restoration in Jesus' mighty name. And they will rebuild the ruined cities and live in them. This morning, the Lord is declaring unto you that he is rebuilding the ruined city. If there is any area in your life today, whether it is your marriage that has been ruined, whether it is your health that has been ruined, whether it is your source of income, whether it is your family, the Lord is saying that you will rebuild those cities and live in them. Amen. You will have life in your marriage. You will have life in your body. You will have life in your finances. You will have life in your family. You will have life in every area in the name of Jesus. If you receive it, shout hallelujah. And the verse goes on to say, they will also plant vineyards and drink their wine and make gardens and eat their fruits. This morning I declare fruitfulness over you in the name of Jesus. I declare fruitfulness in every area of your life in Jesus mighty name. I declare that even as it was said about Isaac that in the famine he planted and in the same year he reaped a hundredfold harvest. I declare a hundredfold fruitful harvest in your life in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Psalm 37 and verse 19. It says, in times of disaster, they will not wither. In other translations, it says, they will not be ashamed. When you look around you, it looks like there's disaster everywhere. But I am here to declare over you this morning that those who put their trust in the Lord will never be put to shame. That it doesn't matter what the climate looks like around you. It doesn't matter what the economic climate looks like. It doesn't matter what the social climate looks like. It doesn't matter what the moral climate looks like. It doesn't matter what the spiritual climate looks like. You will not wither in the mighty name of Jesus. In days of famine, they will enjoy plenty. In other translations, it says, they shall be satisfied. It means that famine will come. But because you are the righteousness of God in Christ, you will enjoy plenty and you will be satisfied. You will have plenty peace. You will have plenty joy. You will have plenty success. You will have good health and long life. You will be fruitful in every area. You will enjoy plenty in every area of your life. If you receive it, say amen. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 26. It says, there shall be no one miscarrying or barren in your land. 
this morning I am here to declare over you that not one of you will miscarry in any area of your life. Not one of you under the sound of my voice will be barren in any area of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning I take authority over every spirit of barrenness and every spirit that comes, every little fox that comes to destroy the vine. I consume you by the power of the Holy Spirit and I declare an end to barrenness in any area of your life. I declare an end to miscarriages in Jesus' mighty name. I declare that you will carry to full term the dream and the vision and the plan and the call and the purpose of God upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare this morning over you that what the Lord has begun in your life he is the Alpha and the Omega. He will bring to a full and a perfect end in the mighty name of Jesus. Because he is a God who finishes what he starts. If you receive it, shout hallelujah and give the Lord a praise offering this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.